Hi, I'm Heather from Here Booktubes, and today is Bodyguard Romance Recommendations. I love this trope <laughs> so much. I think a lot of that, what I love about it is that it is built in with the protectiveness, and I love that so much to my romance heroes. I just adore that dynamic where like they are trying their best to protect them. And I don't mind when the heroine is kind of annoyed by it. I do mind when she purposely puts herself in danger like an idiot because she's tired of being stifled and it's like, well, you're being stifled because somebody's trying to kill you? Like, <laughs> so I don't like when they do that, but I do, I just love a protective hero. I adore it and the bodyguard, obviously, that's his entire job and then usually the emotions and feelings and affections come after but because i do love that protectiveness i love that we start out with that built right into the trope this is one that i feel like it's hard to remember which ones you read that had it but i do have a list and i did enjoy all of these and i am excited to give it to you so the first one is let me please you which is mclean brothers number four and a half by alexandria house so there are four McLean brothers and each book follows a different brother and then this is a novella which is about their sister. Two of the McLean brothers are celebrities. So the first book is about a very famous rapper named Big South and the second book is about an NBA player. And so both of them obviously have to have a lot of security and the other brothers are kind of businessmen. Well the sister has become the assistant for the NBA player I believe and sometimes she's watching his son and his son comes with security. <laughs> so she gets assigned this big teddy bear <laughs> of a body bodyguard named Tommy. She is older than he is and she's just a little bit crazy and he has diabetes and she gets so mad at him when he doesn't take care of himself and he's also, I want to say, he's actually Afro-Latinx. If I'm remembering correctly, then he is. She's divorced, she's older, she kind of wants him and he's like, your brothers will kill me and I work for them. Like, I don't know what you want me to do about this. And she like really wants him and he's like, I want you, but I'm not gonna mess up my whole life for that. I owe your brothers stuff. So that's a very interesting dynamic. And she's like, I'm a grown woman <laughs> and she, goes at her brothers and it's very entertaining. I really like their dynamic a lot and he was so sweet and she was just, they, they complimented each other so well because she wasn't afraid to stand up to her brothers and he was so sweet but he also had a backbone and stuff and I just really enjoyed them so much. Then I have Quiet Man by Kristen Ashley. This is Dream 0.5, so this does introduce the Dream Team series, but it's also Dream Man. I think it's 4.5, so it's kind of the bridge between the two series, but you can read it as a standalone. You do not have to read either series in order to enjoy this one. So Lottie is a stripper, and she's a really, really good stripper, but she unfortunately has a very bad stalker who is escalating and things are not looking good because she her sister is married to one of the uh, men from the dream man series and she is friends with all the commandos and stuff through her sister and when they find out that she has this th threat and hasn't done anything about it um they get on it right away <laughs> so she gets assigned mo he is a giant kind of scary looking mountain of a man. He's quiet, he doesn't talk, he is not conventionally attractive, and I loved that about him. And he, Lottie, Lottie's used to getting attention and she wants Mo's, Mo's attention and he is so professional. He's like, no, I cannot guard you. <laughs> and we are indulging. And so he won't do anything the entire time he is actually her bodyguard. It was a novella. It was so sweet. I loved it so much. I would kind of like to reread it. And I just loved it that you had this very bubbly outgoing stripper with this super quiet mountain of a man who most people are very intimidated by. I loved their dynamic. I loved how, I, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> if you want an alpha, He's a good one. Then I have Lock You Down, which is River Brothers number two by Jessica Godziella. And I have to tell you that this one is a little bit different. 
So he's the bodyguard to a rich douche <laughs> and she is the stalker of the rich douche that he is being hired to prevent. <laughs> so she, I will tell you that there is content warning for this. There is content warning for suicide of a loved one, sexual assault of a loved one. Sexual assaulter is kind of a, uh, a predator who has done it to multiple girls. So there, there's a there's a big content warning for sexual assault and suicide of a loved one in this one. But basically she's stalking him and he catches her and she keeps showing up and he keeps catching her and he makes some assumptions that prove to be wrong and when he finds out why she's doing what she's doing he kind of helps her. <laughs> I really enjoyed their interactions and their banter and him kind of convincing himself not to like get her arrested or anything and she is Asian she is adopted into I believe a white family but I love them <laughs> it was very sad but also it wasn't the the whole book wasn't emotionally devastating it was done really well without kind of dragging you through it all but there's an intense chapter or two where she's telling him what all happened and why she's doing what she's doing so if that does sound too much then maybe skip it but they are a very happy couple who are very healthy for each other and so there's a lot of happiness in the book despite the heavier content then I have Safe With Me, which is with me in Seattle, number five by Kristen Proby. So they kind of run in the same family friend circle and he is a uh, ex-Navy SEAL and somebody is harassing her and she's a single mom and she has a couple of little girls and she's trying to keep them safe and things are happening and so he ends up moving in with them to keep them safe. But all the girls, little and mom, are really falling for him but he's broken and might not be the best thing for them they do tend to be pretty alpha and i did like that it's like a live-in bodyguard situation first proximity is always fun but also i don't remember what the threat is so i can't fully give you content warnings on that but i don't think anything super bad happens and lastly i have the mogul and the muscle which is Blue Wilder Billionaires by Claire Kingsley. So she is the billionaire and her friends are also female billionaires and they all get their own books. You can read them in any order or a standalone. And she is gang threat. She got mugged and it seems like it might be targeted. And so to appease her friends, she hires a bodyguard and she doesn't want him cramping her style. And he rides a motorcycle. He's a one man. Uh, security team and he's kind of ready to be done there's lots of banter she's very confident he's very protective it's funny it's definitely a rom-com with romantic suspense and I enjoyed it <laughs> truthfully I don't remember a ton of the particulars about this one but I do I did enjoy all the books in the series that I read and who doesn't love a female billionaire give us more of those she is an aerospace mogul, so that's exciting. I like a smart main character, so it was fun. It was entertaining, banter, steaminess, all the things. And that's it for my bodyguard romance recommendations. If you have one that you really enjoyed, let me know. I do love it. I love the protective forced proximity, trying to protect you from uh, uh, stopping bad guys and all the things. I just love it, so... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want more romance recommendations and I do them a lot. So thanks. Bye.